In this clip, I will be reviewing the 72 set of Arteza Expert Colour Pencils. I will create a full colour swatch and carry out several tests to help you with your choices and find out if this budget brand lives up to the hype. I will also tell you how you can get a free resource. Let's get started. I've been so excited to try these Arteza Expert Pencils. I've heard lots of things about them, some good, some bad, and I wanted to try them for myself. I can't believe that I got these 72 pencils for £20.99 from Amazon. What a great price. So that's one tick straight away. So that means that per pencil, they're 29 pence each, which is incredible. In the US, they're $26.99, which means they're 37 cents per pencil. If you would like to find out the price for your country, then please click on the link below and it will take you to the Amazon in your country where you can find out how much they are in your country. So I'm just unwrapping the box. It's a very good quality tin, very similar to the Prismacolor tin of 72. And you've got lots of information on the, of the outside of the box. You've got the color and you've got the number because all of those pencils are numbered and the tin is very protective as you can see it's also got on the outside of the tin that the pencils are verified by the ASTM I don't know quite what how that is verified I've tried to find out information directly from Arteza but so far I'm awaiting a response so if you go turn around to the front, it says there's 72 unique colors, artist quality, which I will come on to later. They are break resistant and they are blendable. What I like about the inside is that you've got all of the pencils listed on the inside, clear labeling, and also you've got this index of the light fastness, which again, I'll come on to later. And they are crossed from extremely light fast with one cross, all the way down to least light fast at the bottom with five crosses. So are these artists quality? There's a few points that I'd like to raise regarding this. Um, the first thing is you can't buy them open stock, which for me would be a bit of an issue because I do buy all of my pencils open stock. So that would be one thing that maybe our teaser could look into if they want them to be classed as professional quality. The second thing is whilst they are listed as light fast um, it's not entirely clear what these plus size sizes actually stand for they have said that they are extremely light fast all the way down to least light fast however it's not entirely clear how many years they will last for and i have contacted arteza direct about this i'm still awaiting a response i would struggle to call them professional grade because I don't know how many years those pencils are going to last and if I'm selling my work on I would need to verify that the work that I am selling is light fast so I don't think that at present it can compete with Prismacolor Premier, Caran Dash Luminance, Faber-Castell and the Derwent light fast. So that is my main issue with these at the moment however I would like to investigate further how the pencils perform when they are being used. One last thing to mention is the leads at the end. Now, this is something that obviously when we are working with them, this will be looked into, but it's that point at the end. It's, they, When they arrive, they've got that flat point and I really don't like that. I think they could just either not sharpen them or sharpen them properly. So once I see the Arteza pencils, I'm really impressed by the vibrancy and I can't wait to use them. But like the Prisma colors when I opened them, they don't seem to be in any order. They're all over the place, which isn't an issue because I'm going to be doing a swatch test so I can put them in the correct order then. Quick note about the branding on the pencil. Really like the lettering, it's very clear. Number on there and the light fast rating on there. Very impressed and all of the pencils, the paint was really clean also. So before we get into talking about the swatch testing, I want you to know that I have provided a free resource for you in this swatch test so if you would like to print this off go to the link in the description below and it will take you to my website where you can print off this swatch chart so you can try out the pencils so as i'm going through all of these colors i am noticing that this pencil does have quite a similar quality to the prisma color however there are quite a few differences 
and the main one is and this is something that I noticed as I was working with the pencil more and more is that it does have quite a hard quality to it Prismacolor they're both wax based pencils and the Prismacolor is softer and creamier where with this one it's quite tough and hard now just so you know the pet the colors there's two colors here the peaches and cream and the yellow ochre when i was working with them i noticed a bit of wax bloom so that's something to bear in mind if you are working with these pencils um i was impressed with the vibrant colors what i was really impressed with was the fact that it didn't crumble like the prism colors when you are putting some pressure on those final layers when you're burnishing sometimes with the prism colors you'll get bits of pencil breaking off and even worse sometimes it will just snap because it doesn't like the pressure whereas i didn't have any of that at all you'll know you'll see when i'm working on there i'm putting on those final layers there's no bits coming off at all so that was really impressive um, but that's because it's quite it can be scratchy in places and by that i mean the lead is so hard that what it does is it scratches the layer underneath so i'm going to just include here a diagram that arteza has put out and that is of the inner core of the pencil and it's claimed that the lead is really hard and it doesn't break and i have to say i did apply a significant amount of pressure in the swatch testing and later when i did the testing and it didn't break once <music> So I was just about getting the hang of these pencils now and getting used to the texture of them because as I said I was kind of expecting them to be the right prisma colors but they were a little bit harder than the prisma colors um, the plum purple and the fruit punch they were both quite scratchy um, and it may just be that it's this particular batch that have these issues with the wax bloom and them being scratchy I don't know but I, it's just something that I need to mention the other ones they're all fine other than the fact that they are just that bit harder and I'm you know I'm making notes along the way about how I'm finding them and the only thing that I can say because my my descriptive terms probably aren't the best but they feel a bit crayony and the, the reason I'm saying that is because they just feel more waxy than the prisma colors they, they just feels like what's happened or what they've done is they've obviously experimented with the formula to make them harder so they don't break and that is one of the benefits one of the benefits is that when you're putting the pressure on to burnish they're not falling apart but the issue with that is that some of them are a little bit scratchy so they're taking off the previous layer that you've put on um, as I said I've had a few of them that already I can see wax bloom so I've seen wax bloom in yellow ochre peaches and cream the pink macaroon um, and the flamingo pink again was quite scratchy Unfortunately, the ocean blue was another pencil that I found scratchy and it may be because of the composition of the wax I don't know, but it did seem to scratch some of the pencil off from the previous layer
it all seemed to be going really well and then unfortunately I got to the dark chocolate brown and you can see it didn't blend very well from the bottom half of the swatch. Cloudy grey didn't blend well also but overall I'm pleased with these, There's some really nice bright vibrant colours and I can't wait to get onto the actual testing process. Don't forget if you have some Arteza pencils be sure to download the PDF in the description below. If I'm testing a pencil one of the first things I will do is test its layering quality so I'm going to start by shading this sphere and I'm using this purple colour. I'm starting by shading the darker areas at the bottom and I find that it's very difficult to get um, a variation in tone um, so I'm trying my best I'm going to layer about three times and then what I will do at the end is I will put a white burnish on top I use this quite a lot with skin tones so for example with Prismacolors the, the white I will use very often and I will mix and match and sometimes use the white with um, Faber-Castell um, because the Faber-Castell white is not very good um, and very often will not sit on top even of the Faber Castell pencils. So the Prismacolor white is the, probably the strongest out of the whites that I've used so far. I do like the Caran d'Ache white also, Caran d'Ache luminance. So it'll be interesting to see how this one performs. Um, when I used it on top, um, unfortunately the footage at the end, the camera cut off. Um, but when I used the white on the top, I found that because it was quite hard, it started to scratch the pencil off underneath so I had to be quite careful with it when I started to burnish um, the pencil together. So for this next test I'm going to burnish which means adding several layers on top starting with a light layer and then gradually adding more pressure to get achieve a smoother effect now when you do this with a wax based crayon you may find that you get wax bloom but that's fine i'm just trying to experiment with this pencil to see how smooth the effect is so i've started with the yellow i'm then going to do an orange section in the middle and then gradually go through to red so i've started by applying my initial layer and then i'm going to blend the colors in between to create an ombre effect so what i found with the pencil is because it's quite hard it's finding difficulty blending between the two colors so I'm having to layer one on top of the other. So I'm doing this as best as I can and what I also found especially with the red I had to add several layers to get a vibrant color which obviously with Prismacolor I wouldn't have to do that I think I only have to add three layers maximum to get a vibrant color. So now I'm going to use a couple of blending tools. The first one is the Derwent Pencil Blender. I've used this several times in my work on all of the three main brands that I use. It normally works really well. If anything, it sometimes takes too much off. I've never seen it work in quite this way where it doesn't take a great deal off. It just kind of skims along the surface. So what I thought I'd do was put another sample above and not add as so much pencil, just add one or two layers to see if that was had an effect and it did as you can see it blended out much better so if you want to use a pencil blender I would suggest you don't add as many layers because there's quite a few layers underneath there so the pencil blender is effective you just need to make sure you don't add as many layers so what I've decided to do here is on the left hand side on the right hand side rather not add so many layers before I use the blending stump this was very disappointing it barely did anything at all so I would not suggest using a blending stump with these pencils I would definitely go for the pencil blender the Derwent brand so now I'm going to use the eraser on the darkest part of this swatch just to see how it takes off the color because I've been using the smooth paper 
the pencil won't have worked itself into the vellum texture of the paper this is a smooth paper so it just sits on the surface and as you can see the pencil has run, rubbed out very well because it's just sitting on the surface of the paper so now I'm going to use solvent to see how this blends the pencil surface I'm only going to use it on one layer I'm not going to layer it up this time this is a pencil blend that I use called zest it um, I do use this sometimes on oil pastels as well it's a really good brand and it's not very toxic if you want to find out more information about this please look in the description below where you'll find information about all the products I've used in today's clip I'm finding that this is blending the Arteza pencils really well and it creates a smooth effect at the end This next test is one that I wouldn't normally try out, but um, it's following a few issues that have been raised on Facebook pages and comments that I've read regarding the solubility of these pencils. Um, it's not an issue that I would consider that I would come across, but essentially because companies have a variety of elements and materials in their binders, sometimes you'll find that they will be soluble even though they have claimed that they are not soluble and that they are permanent so what I'm doing is I'm just testing out the pencils by brushing um, in one direction then another direction in a filbert brush a large filbert brush just to test the solubility now I have to say that I'm surprised in that I have read several comments about the fact that these are soluble as I said, it won't bother me because I don't have watercolours and pencils mixed. Um, if I do, then I would wait for it to dry. But there's nothing coming off of these pencils at all. I wouldn't expect them to because they're wax based so wax and water don't mix. But I'm brushing the water on top and there's virtually nothing. So this has been very successful and I would say that these pencils are certainly um, not water soluble so are Arteza worthy of the branding artist quality in a nutshell no and there's two main reasons for this the first one is you can't buy them open stock so you'd be expected to buy a new pack every time so for example you wanted a white pencil you'd have to buy the smallest pack which at the moment as far as I can tell is the 72 um, the second thing is or the main thing is the slight fastness issue as I've said I have contacted Arteza I'm still awaiting a reply if I do get a reply then I will put it in the comments or in the description after I have posted this video because I think it's important that we have the information about what this light fastness indicator or scale means. It's very vague, extremely light fast, does not tell me how many years a piece of work will last for if I'm selling it to a customer. And ultimately, you need to be able to validate your work. So it's really important if you are a professional artist that you have materials that you can trust that's why i don't think that these pencils unfortunately i would be able to buy them knowing that they are artist quality brand like the prismacolor premier caran dash luminance faber castell Poly polychromos and the dermot lightfast to some extent prismacolor premier you have to question because of the wax blue and also the fact that in their range quite a few of those pencils aren't light fast so this is a big issue for me the light fastness so please Arteza if you would like to contact me that would be great so who are these pencils for I would say two two groups of people the first one is a hobbyist say for example someone that works in their sketchbook and someone that does a lot of coloring these are great pencils I really like the way they've been packaged they are a really well designed pencil and also the boxing brilliant everything about them i like i like the branding um and i suggest i would say that if, as you get used to them they would you would be able to manage them also 
school and college students again if you're doing the majority of your work in a sketchbook then again that would be great but the main thing to think about is the price the price for the amount of point pencils that you're getting is incredible so that is why this is a good pencil however I wouldn't say at this moment in time it can be given the label artist quality because of the issue with the light fastness and the fact that they are not available open stock I hope you got value from today's content please look out for the future in about a week or so's time I will be posting a clip on Prismacolor versus Arteza so look out for that and I hope to see you in the next clip.